Hi, um, hello to you. My name is Aziza Tisha. I'm a medical doctor, a youth advocate, and the speaker of the Nigerian Youth Parliament. And I'm excited to be, you know, having this short recording with you about, you know, developmental process, being the best version of yourself. And um, I think that as I believe as young people, there's a lot of things that have been thrown our way when we are growing up. And uh, there's a lot of information out there. There's a lot of expectation from people. And, you know, trying to identify yourself, trying to know who you are is a big continuous process. And, you know, until you get to a certain period in time, you might not exactly get it, you know, as much as people would want you to. And that's my problem, you know. And um, in the world that we live in, in the area of social media, in the global village, whereby it is easy for you to compare yourself with other people, then you realize that oh, there's a lot of pressure for you to deliver as a young person. And um, a lot in our society, there's a lot of expectation and less uh, structure or culture to provide safe environment for you. So, the, so you keep asking yourself this question that, Am I the best version of myself? Am I doing what my mates are doing? Am I excelling well? You give yourself this kind of timeline, this kind of clock that is not even based on yourself or your capability, but someone else's capability or someone else's desire. So you are thinking, oh, at this age, I ought to have done this. At this age, I ought to have done that. In the time of social media, there's a lot going online. Oh, this person is 18 years old and is already doing this for experience or is already at the peak of their careers. And, you know, you allow, you absorb all this information and then uh, instead of going through a natural process whereby you develop as a viable human being, you are constantly distracted by what is going on around you or what is the expectation. And the thing I want to come, I want to tell you today is right that it is okay, it is fine. You know, wherever you are right now, it is okay, and it is where you are meant to be. The conversation is what you want to do next, what is important to you. So, as a young person, uh, I like to give a few examples about you know what I do and uh, how I've come to be. I'm not perfect. I'm still you know below thirty. And I feel as if or sometimes I'm like, oh, I ought to have been doing this. I'm below 30. I still live with my parents. I still get some stipends, you know. I'm serving. And I have, you know, age mates as well that have moved out of their parents' house, are either married, are working, are earning six figures. I, you know, I, I have them around me. And, you know, sometimes i look at myself that this social work you're doing this advocacy work you're doing when is it going to pay off you know when are you going to get to you know be able to pay yourself a good salary or eventually get a job in any place that is pay you six uh figures or when is all this your non-governmental organization going to kick start when are you going to uh get that massive grant from those huge organizations, those huge embassy, you understand what I'm saying? So I also have this question, and as young people, definitely will have that question. But when we're talking about development, when you're talking about being the best version of yourself, it is a process. It is not a, a, a moment thing. It is a gradual process. So I always ask you, look at yourself five years back. For you to be here listening to this program, you must have done something better. Look at yourself five years back. Look at what you believed in. Look at where you were. And then look at what, you know, where you are right now. You understand? Five years ago, I was probably in my third year in medical school. A lot of things did not work out. I was constantly scared if I was going to make it as a medical doctor. I was constantly scared if I was going to pass my exams. I was constantly scared about my personality, about my future. I was always thinking, oh, can I do the things that I want to do? Can I excel you know, as, a, as a medical student and also as a young person interested in politics? Will I be able to you know, have a fulfilling life Will my faith or what people think of me as someone who practices faith? Will it limit my ability to excel or to you know, do the things that I want to do? I had questions about my personality. A lot of people did not understand me or I didn't understand a lot of people. My personality was not something that, 
you know, everyone seems to be able to accommodate. It seems I was too loud. It seems I was too brash. It seems as if I didn't understand what people wanted. And, you know, I still get that now. I, I still get that, you know, a good number of times that I don't understand uh, uh, what people want from me. Recently, I ran for an election, a national uh, platform, the Nigerian Youth Parliament, and I had to travel over 20 states. I had never traveled before in my life. Before August this year, I, the, the most I traveled is Ogun State and back. You understand what I'm saying? I spent one or two days and then I'm back. But when I wanted to contest for the post of the speaker, I had to travel 20 states in Nigeria despite the insecurity. So I was in South-South, I was in Southeast region, I was in North Central region, I was in Northeast, I was in Northwest, Northwest as well, and I was in Southwest as well. Not that I just went for a program. I traveled by road, I traveled by flight, I visited in some region, I visited as much as four states, you understand, in some region as well. So the question is how, I don't, I didn't like traveling before. But this was an opportunity for me to what, to pursue something that what I knew that was was there was something I was passionate about. So the conversation started with, oh, how are people going to perceive me? This and that. I had to read a lot of books. I had to understand what it means to you know reach out to a large number of people. How to work with a larger number of people. How to appeal to a larger audience, different category of people, people with different thought process. So as a young person you might want to do a lot of things or you might want to do nothing you might just feel like i see well i'm i'm tired i'm just lazing around i'm just spending my time or or you are at that moment whereby you're giving up like well it's none of my business you know you have that attitude that attitude is coming up so the conversation or the real issue there is that whatever you are doing it is normal it is um it is part of the process you understand the real issue is how long do you want to stay i don't say how long somebody else wants you or do you yourself want to be in that position and how much credit you give yourself for the little things that you are able to do so the 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 thing about it is to first of all love yourself as a young person and always ensure that you have a support a system that you have created for yourself not necessarily the ones you know the world or your family has jumped at so when i say a uh, uh, support system it is not necessarily that you look to your family specific for the support that you need it is not necessarily that you look to your friend specific or that particular friend you understand these people are naturally your support system but the support system that you need as a long person while trying to be the best version of yourself is to surround yourself with people who are positively inclined to support you. You understand what I'm saying? Because as a young person, you are going to come with a lot of challenge. So while you are getting to know yourself, you must surround yourself with people who are positively ready to support you. Support does not mean that they blindly say yes to everything that you say, but they are ready to believe in you. So when you are starting that crazy idea, or you are in that position whereby you've given up on everything, there's apathy on everything, or there's that moment whereby you are breaking down and you are not able to pick yourself up. That system can be comprised of your friends, can be comprised of mentors, can be even comprised of people that you look up to, you know, you look at videos regularly of people who speak the right word, people who are doing the things that you want to do. And then at the end of the day, you are gradually bringing yourself together. So generally, as a young person, you must know what is important, that you should be adding some form of value. And the moment you are able to understand yourself, you are able to learn yourself, you ask people questions regularly, you reevaluate yourself. And you adopt values, you understand, that makes it easier for you to exist and be happy with yourself as a young person. Then you realize that gradually you learn. So there are some values as a young person that you must have. And some of those values is that you need to accommodate other people. You need to know that you know there are different kinds of people, not necessarily people that will adapt with your lifestyle or to your belief. You must be able to work with people and you must be able to respect other people. 
as a young person as well you must also understand that what your sanity and your safety is very important so whatever you are doing as a young person and you realize that you know such environment is toxic to your own mental health or is toxic to your own development then it is imperative that you pull yourself away from it i'm talking about this specifically because of what social media is right now for us as young people there is a lot of pressure you know uh let's even forget about your classmates or someone because that is so far away is determining how you should feel about yourself or how you should feel about your own progress for what someone whom you probably never meet in person someone whom doesn't know you or your struggle someone who do not necessarily live your reality or you or someone whom you do not live their reality is not you know giving you the standard is adding a lot of pressure to you who oh, there's this young person is making millions there's this young person has bought this house for their parents there's this young person he has the highest wire result there's this young person graduating best student you know and these are the conversations that you have that goes on and on in your head and when you allow this conversation goes on then you realize that what you find it difficult to develop and to reach those milestones that you would naturally want to reach if you you know surround yourself with that uh, the right environment so as young people you will not get everything right at a time you are learning because you've not would not been born with all the knowledge and all the skills but we have the ability to adapt and to learn so as young people if you are going to learn right if you are going to do the right thing having a good support system is important and giving yourself time to process those things that you are exposed to gradually would make you become the person that you are supposed to be i know one of my mentor would tell who always says was that 70 percent of the things that you are worried about literally will sort out themselves you are in school i can assure you if you do the things that you are supposed to do you go to class you pay attention you pay the minimum requirement you would pass your exam as a young person if you are committed to something if you are passionate about anything at all, if you are doing something every single day or every other day or once in a week, you will excel at it. What are you concerned about? You are concerned about mostly uh, um, excelling in a particular field, living a comfortable life, contributing to those that are around you. The problem there is that, or the issue there is that, what do you recognize yourself? Do you understand yourself? As a young person, do you appreciate yourself? Are you able to filter all the information that is coming to you and pick up the things that are necessary for you to develop? So as a young person, a lot of things are coming up. But you must be able to, like I said, have a support system. You must be able to filter all the information that you are, you are getting and you must be able to give yourself time. Time is important. Read books, listen to people, you understand? Communicate and surround yourself with people who would positively impact you, those who would encourage you to continue, those who can help you pick up the pieces along the way as well. So as a young person, you might not you know, get everything right. I don't even expect you to know everything that you want to do with your life. Some people are able to do that at a young age. That is fine. But that does not necessarily mean that, oh, you are 30 and you are really, really get it. it doesn't mean you understand. So at every point in time, you just must be able to say that, okay, this is where I was uh, two months ago. Or that's even too close. This is where I was one year ago. This is where I was five years ago. This is where I am right now. You understand. And if you realize that you are not making that progress that you want for yourself, then it's best for you to look out. It's best for you to research positively, gradually, those things that you need to do for you to achieve what you want. So um, I'll be opening to more questions at the end of the day. And I hope that this few minutes is able to make you understand that as a young person, you are mostly doing the right thing. You are mostly on the right track. You just need to give yourself you know, time. Thank you so much for listening.